Hi, my name is Adishek. I am a legal intern at Lexis and Company. So today is my topic is the story of revenge porn. So before proceeding with the topic, I request you please like, share my videos and subscribe this channel Lexly. So let's begin with the topic. So personal space can be uh, defined as the uh, region or surrounding of a person which they consider as psychological sphere. And from this we get to know that the in invading into someone's privacy is the new normal where people crave for exhibition of others personal space revenge porn is not something we are not aware of it's a tool which is used for threat uh, threatening or using people for their egoistic desires irrespective of your gender you may fall in the trap and become a prey intimacy has become a way to satisfy love and acceptance so in this topic uh, i will discuss about the definition of revenge porn and its difference from pornography we will dis and i will discuss about the history and causes of the crime and uh, it also deals with the impact on the victim and the punishment given under law which is a uh, little i will explain with case laws so 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 the dis so let's uh, begin with the uh, topic uh, introduction so so distribution of sexually explicit images or videos of people without their consent is understood as revenge porn the sexually explicit uh, images or video made by partner in an intimate relationship with the knowledge and consent of the topic at the time or it should be made without their knowledge or not infrequently the victim has been subjected to sexual violence often facilitated by narcotics which also causes a uh, reduced sense of pain involvement within the dissolved sexual act and dissociative effects and amnesia uh, which we are uh, and these uh, also narcotics we called uh, uh, rape drugs so the term revenge porn generally refers to the uploading of this sexual explicit material to humiliate and intimidate the topic so who has broken uh, of the connection the term is uh, additionally often misused to explain non uh, revenge scenarios including non consensual pornography distributed by hackers or by individuals seeking profit or notoriety so the photographs are usually amid sufficient information to spot the picture in uh, picture individual and typically names and location and might include uh, rescue uh, announcement like uh, links to social media profiles home addresses and workplaces so victims uh, whose images expose them to workplace are discrimination uh, cyber stalking or physical attack can have their lives ruined as a result given the practice by some companies of uh, trying to find potential sources of bad publicity many victims of revenge porn have lost their job some academics argue uh, that the term revenge porn shouldn't be used and instead that should be cited as image based regulatory offense so let's talk what difference between pornography and revenge porn so pornography is uh, is that the portrayal of sexual object uh, subject uh, material uh, for the exclusive purpose of arousal and the pornography is also pretended during a type of media including magazines animations writings films video and video games the term doesn't include uh, live uh, exhibitions like sex shows and strippies the first subject of present day pornographic depictions are pornographic models who pose for still photographs and for uh, for uh, pornographic actors who engage in film sex acts so the revenge porn has been defined by the government as the sharing of personal sexual material either photos or videos of another person without their consent with the aim of causing embarrassment or distress so often there will be additional personal information included with the pictures or videos that are published this mix can uh, leave an individual feeling vulnerable and will possibly put them at risk at minimum it's psychological damage to the victim so let's talk about the causes of revenge porn so disclosure of sexual explicit images or videos is either done with motive to blackmail or to humiliate your former partner though both men and women can be a victim of this but in most of the cases women who can sensually fall in the trap they send uh, their nude picture images and videos to one and they love but this always has tragic ending the person can upload those images without the consent of the girl after they dumped her so the main intention here is to uh, defame her in psychological way we can say that the person might be thinking that uh, by doing this he is and she is punishing their ex lover for breaking up 
in some cases where a person posts uh, the intimate images just to show off it can uh, sound weird but nowadays recording your sex tape is common whether it is done with or without the consent of their partners so later that that tape is released on some adult sites to gain attention and further it it become a pleasure to them as they consider themselves cool by doing this the main aim here is to attract and impress people around them hence in some uh, way we can call it call them narcissist so there was a time where celebrities were the victim of revenge porn because one can blackmail them easily in return of money but it observed in the recent years that this crime can collapse the lives of common women too basically the girls intimate pictures is captured without their consent or they are mocked in order to threaten the victim in a very brutal way as a result she will be fulfilling uh, all the demands to stop him from posting them so let's now talk about the what is the victim uh, what is the victims view on this how victims uh, suffered these atrocities uh, so uh, most of us are aware of the fact that the sexual content shown in adult or porn videos are something that is scripted and is not real and many people eagerly search for something that is more realistic and natural and how would it be felt when you realize that your intimate pictures or videos are being used to satisfy others pleasure that also without your knowledge so or uh, when your uh, raw naked body is exposed to the whole world without your consent the utmost result of sharing personal moments is being revenged by that person of his bruised ego so humiliation embarrassment anxiety hits the victim even harder after the psychological trauma depression and grief when she comes to know that she is being bullied and shamed all over the internet later she suffers from post traumatic stress uh, uh, stress disorder we live in a secular country with a judgmental society and it's uh, difficult for the victim to get over the trauma guilt silence and gather all her courage to fight back the main thing that is needed during the recovery time is proper guidance according to the society women who send their intimate images to someone else are labeled as scarlet women and thinking of the society victim will uh, not be able to face justify anything uh, because at that point they are shamed as low life blood so the toughest part for anyone is they uh, they don't get support from their family all the negativity and revolting action of the fam uh, Uh, of the members towards the incident makes the victim thinks about the end her life the suspression the suppression and shame forced the victim to end their social life and drop out school college or quit their jobs and lock themselves as up they are scared to face the society so there are several laws made to victim to get justify but the process is difficult she has to explain the whole situation to every authority she meets and the worst she can face is that she is being judged and criticized by them also and the process of removing the intimate content takes a very long time as it has not only been seen but also shared via various sites and sources so even if the accused gets a deserved punishment it's difficult for the victim to get her respect freedom dignity back she won't recover from her scars until the unless she stands for herself fights back and decides to start a new life so now let's uh, let's see the what are the uh, punishment in our legal system so uh, so revenge uh, pornography is considered as a virtual rape it can be punished with both imprisonment and fine the united states government strictly prohibits the crime and has several laws implemented uh, for it but that uh, that's not case in india there are no such laws for revenge porn the judgment made in india are given under the various acts and sections so the culprit is punished by indian penal uh, penal court 1860 under the section uh, 500 defaming the concerned person section uh, 504 in uh, intentional insult with intent to provoke breach of peace section 506 punishment for criminal intimidation uh, section 1509 word gesture act intended to insult the modesty of a woman section 354 Uh, outraging the modesty of a woman and section 354a sexual harassment and punishment for sexual harassment and section 354c voyeurism and section 354d stalking the culprit is punished by information technology act under the section 66e intentionally capturing and punishing the private area of person or violating the privacy of a person section 67 transmitting the private media in electronic form any material which is lascivious or appeal to purient interest or tends to deprave and corrupt 
Section 67A stipulated punishment for publishing and transmitting of material containing sexually explicit acts, etc., in electronic form. Section 72, breach of confidentiality and privacy. So let's talk about the case State of Province versus Amish Boxy, which is widely considered the first ever the Sessions Court in the Tamluk State sentenced a person to five years imprisonment together with a fine of 9,000 of uploading private and objectionable pictures on of a lady on the web without her consent. The accused was convicted under section 354, 354A, 354C and 509 of the Indian Legal Code and um, so that together with section 66A, 66C, 67, 66 uh, and 67A of the Knowledge of Technology Act. So what was interesting about the judgment was that together with the uh, force uh, mentioned fine and imprisonment, the court even directed the regime to treat the victim as a rape survivor and to produce her appropriate compensation. The accused was in an intimate relationship with the victim before the commission of the offence and had obtained the said intimate pictures from the victim under the promise of marriage beyond the victim gap the link. The accused uploaded the photographs and videos onto the pornographic sites with both her and her father's names. Cases like became common in both India and around the world in what are termed as revenge porn cases. Before analyzing the system uh, in situ to tackle the sad issue, it's pertaining to grasp what constitutes a revenge porn. Hence, this concept began by defining the term, followed by an analysis of the prison system. In situ to deal with the sad issue, at uh, concludes with the critical investigate and identical to portray the inherent contradiction with the system while address such instances of revenge porn. So. So in uh, in conclusion, I have, I would say the venom of this crime is ruthless and can uh, destroy the lives of many people. In India, there um, there should be specified laws for this crime, and then according to them, severe punishment should be given to the crim uh, criminals. So the society needs to change their view and perspective uh, towards the victim and create an environment which supports the victim to fight back against the crime. The ultimate control of revenge for circulation is the hands of pawn viewers. So that's it. Thank you.